Good morning from Mayor Campus and a very warm welcome to all our delegates and um, colleagues and prof that uh, gave us the opportunity to have him here, which is a great honor for us. Teams today here uh, are surgeons, engineer, radiologists. So half of the hospital will be involved in uh, getting the final uh, decision on what to do on the right patient. And uh, CAD custom made silicon elastomer implants are a good solution because it's easy to put, uh, there is few complications, and we can uh, treat any type of pectus excavatum, primary and secondary. So we start with our first patient. Our first patient came, came to our attention in 2019 for the first time uh, for his whole chest defect. Hello, I'm Flavio Facchini, plastic surgeon from Florence, Mayor Children's Hospital. We were organizing a, a workshop about uh, uh, pectus escamasum and pollen syndrome. We perform uh, uh, three interventions in live surgery. We were able to share the technique in all passages, fundamental passages. We learn a lot of, about the skill and we share our skill and we compare the skill with other surgeons. We were connected uh, in uh, a worldwide uh, Zoom meeting and we share uh, our experience with other plastic surgeons, thoracic surgeons, pediatric surgeons and uh, orthopedics. We successfully treated three patients. Hello, hi, I'm Roberto Lo Piccolo. I'm a pediatric surgeon. I work here in Florence, Mayer Children's Hospital. It was a great pleasure to be here today and uh, participated to organization and everything about this, uh, this workshop. And so we can see what's happened inside uh, uh, three different cases of uh, pectus excavatum repaid. We did uh, the technique with uh, the prosthesis and we have a good result. And uh, everything was good. And so thank you. My name is Diego Gavettori, I'm a Trosk surgeon and I work at the OCCS and Sacro Guardian Don Calabria de Degrad. Like a uh, Trosk surgeon, I perform uh, usually uh, uh, Moravich technique and uh, NUS. Uh, I treated uh, about uh, 200 uh, patients. I'm interested in the implant of 3D custom made uh, prothesis because I think. Uh, uh, that this is uh, a, a, a less invasive technique and now the patients are more and more involved in the correction for the aesthetic reason. So I think it uh, can be an interesting uh, solution. 